Hi there, today we're going to practice identifying solid figures. So solid shapes or figures have more than one side to them. So let's take a look at some of these shapes and get to be familiar with them. So the first shape we have here is the cube. And the cube might look very familiar to you. It has a square for a face. Each one of these sides is a square. So let's think of some things that you might see that would be cubes. In your house you might see your washer or your dryer or a sugar cube that you might, you might see your mom or dad put in their coffee or tea. These are all cubes. All their sides are equal in size and that's what makes a cube different from the next shape we're going to look at. Now this shape looks very similar to our cube but notice how long the sides or edges are of this shape. They're much longer. This is called a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. And it's a little bit different from a cube because it does not have equal edges. They're not all the same length. Some things you might see around your house that are rectangular prisms. You have a tissue box, your refrigerator. These are all rectangular prisms. They're easy to identify because their sides are not all the same length. These edges here, this one here, this one here, not the same length as this and this. Now the next shape we have here is the cone. And the cone you'll see all over the place. Think of an ice cream cone. If you flip this upside down, it would be the same as an ice cream cone. It even has the word in it. You also see the cone has a very pointy top to it and a circular bottom. Some other things you might see, traffic cones on streets, party hats, these are all cones. Now the next shape we have here, most people start to say, oh, it's a circle, but it's not. It's actually called a sphere. Now a sphere, which is a tricky spelling, a sphere, you might see a ball, the earth, a globe in your classroom. These are all spheres. They're completely rounded. Finally, we have this shape here. Notice the circular top and circular bottom to it. This is called a cylinder. If you think about in your house or in your classroom, things that might be cylinders. A cup is a cylinder. A straw is a cylinder. These are all things that you might see. Think about things that you might see in your home. Maybe a paper towel holder. Anything that is a shape of a tube is a cylinder. Now let's go see if we can identify some of these shapes. Okay, here we have a shape, and I think you probably recognize what this is. I'm not going to say the name of it because it might clue you in, but what shape, what solid figure is this? If you said cone, C-O-N-E, you're completely correct. This is indeed a traffic cone. Now you can see why they're called traffic cones, because they're actually in the shape of a cone. If I draw here, you can actually see right here that we have the cone shape. Nice work. Now how about this soda can? What shape is it? Notice it's got a circular top, and a circular bottom, rounded sides. What shape would that be? If you said cylinder, pat yourself on the back. This is indeed a cylinder. Great work. Finally, we have two shapes here. We have a microwave and a beach ball. Can you point on your screen to the rectangular prism? Which one is the rectangular prism? You're right, this microwave right here, that's the rectangular prism. Rectangular, like as in rectangle, rectangular prism. Think about microwaves, refrigerators, cardboard boxes, those are all rectangular prisms. They're a rectangular shape. And if that's a rectangular prism, what is this beach ball? We know which are one 
solid figure that is a round shape. And if you said sphere, give yourself another pat on the back, because this is indeed a sphere. The sphere is the one that looks like a circle. Great job. To review, let's match up these names to these shapes. So here we have shape with longer edges than other edges. What shape is this? What solid figure? If you said a rectangular prism, you are correct. Remember, it's not quite a square, it's rectangles, and you can see the shape of rectangles in it. What shape do we have here? Think about a witch's hat, or think about an ice cream. If you said cone, pat yourself on the back, you're right again. How about this shape here? Remember that the solid figure has a shape of a square in it, so what shape is that? It's right up here, it's a cube. How about this shape here? Identify this solid figure. It's got circles on the top, it's round like a tube, and if you said cylinder, you're great, you've done very well. Finally, what is this shape here? Think of a globe or the earth. It is a sphere. Looks like a circle, but it's round all the way around on all sides. Great job. Today we've been practicing identifying solid figures. You've been learning about the cube, the cone, the cylinder, the rectangular prism, and the sphere. Use these to identify solid figures in your home and throughout your math. Great job, and I'll talk to you more about math soon.